this is hydrogen tap. What we're looking at here is the lab one unit after letting it rest overnight after we used it. The last video I showed the unit running and what I did is left the water in it overnight. What we're doing here is checking of course for the seals which are working fine. Also we're checking to see if there's any garbage in the water. And if you can see what I see there isn't. The reason for that is I ran the tap water for a, a few minutes before I put it in. Also if you note those are copper wires going in there and that kind of negates the question about the copper wire routine. There's no scars from the copper wire. I definitely want to or would want to replace the copper wire with stainless steel. That's an option anyone has because it's very easy to remove those wires. Everything on this unit is easy to remove. As you can see the seals on top and bottom enable you to take the whole unit apart. The cell there which is four plate system can be also taken apart very easily. What I'm doing is inspecting is checking the entire unit to make sure that there is no water residue in there. This kind of inspection is good after you use the cell with the water still in it. If there's any problems we'll see it now. It looks like the theory about all the garbage in the water being from the pipes is correct. There or I have not filtered any of the water that went into this unit. This is the lab one unit. The water is straight from the tap. There are no electrolytes in it. And it's clear or it's as clear as I've seen it. The lab one unit is made of acrylic so you can see through it. Again this the lab one only has four plates. The 3LR1000 has 15 plates. There's quite a difference in that. But the lab one is a great unit to experiment with also. You can see on the top the two electrodes on the top and that tube there is for the hydrogen oxygen output. 